38 cool gifts for science lovers. First up is this Wimshurst electrostatic generator. Spinning the handle on this device produces a really high voltage that creates an arc between these metal balls. You can adjust the distance to create larger arcs or disconnect the capacitors to produce smaller but more continuous arcs. Make sure you follow all safety instructions and don't use this if you have a pacemaker. Next is this Starship torch. It's a refillable butane torch where by the way the butane isn't included, but after filling it up you can press this button and it lights just like a rocket. This is obviously inspired by SpaceX's Starship and you can get the official one from SpaceX, but this was just a knockoff I found before I realized there was an official one. Next this is a CMY cube. Each side looks either cyan, magenta, or yellow when viewing directly and when you rotate it you can see different color combinations and the beauty of subtractive mixing. Next is this rattleback, which is an object shaped in an asymmetrical way such that it can freely spin in the counterclockwise direction, but when spun in the clockwise direction, it rattles, stops, and then spins the opposite way. It's such a simple object, but it's almost hard to believe the first time you see it. And while this one's metal, you can also get cheaper plastic ones that work just as well. Next is this model steam engine. After lighting the fuel, placing it in, and waiting a few minutes for the water to boil, you can give it a slight nudge and now you've got steam power and can even attach a belt if you want it to actually power something. I will say though, you've got to be careful to follow the instructions. I think I used a bit too much fuel and didn't secure it properly, so it started to vibrate a lot at higher speeds, as you can see here. Next is this levitating globe, which is similar to other gifts I had in last year's guide, but it's easier to get stable electromagnetic levitation from above the object, which is probably why this one's much cheaper. Next up, you probably can't tell what these black lines are, and this cup doesn't look that special either. However, when combined, the black lines reflect onto the cup to produce an image of a horse. And by slowly spinning it, the horse looks like it's galloping. Of course, you have to be at the right angle to see it, but this type of art is pretty amazing. If you're not interested in the horse, there's also other designs. Next up is this vortex lamp. After turning it on, a motor with flaps stirs the water to create a vortex as you can see here. It also comes with tiny balls and snowflakes to add to the effect. However, make sure you want both of these before committing because I decided I didn't really like the snowflakes and it was an annoying straining process to remove them all. Next are these luminous gas tubes. Each tube contains a different element and this five pack had the noble gases of krypton, helium, neon, xenon, and argon, each that illuminates a different color and brightness. You do need something to make them glow though, like this exposed Tesla coil or the one contained in a plasma globe. Next up is this RGB prism cube. It's similar to the CMY cube in that it showcases the beauty of color mixing and refraction, but this one requires shining light through it and also uses more specifically designed reflection to change the direction the light exits. By adjusting the angle that the light shines through it, you'll see the different color combinations. Next up is this zip string. A motor shoots out the string loop rapidly, which makes the shape of the string appear fixed in space. It was hard for my camera to pick up the string on the white background of my garage, so I shined a black light on it so you can see it better. The whole device feels like a glitch and I had a lot of fun moving it around. It came with three different colored strings, each with a different length, and as you can see here, the length affects its reactiveness to movement. Next up is this Two Truths and Trash Science Trivia Deck. There's 50 new rounds where two of the statements are true and one is a common misconception and it's your job to spot which one that is. Not gonna lie, this is a shameless self-plug because this is a deck I made based on my other show, but I do think it makes for a great stocking stuffer. Next is this hover pen, which is a cool looking regular pen with a holder that makes the pen look like it's defying gravity. As you probably could have guessed though, it's held up by magnets. Next is this solar system kinetic display. Similar to this kinetic display featured in last year's gift guide, it's battery powered and uses magnets to continue swaying. Depending on how you start it, it takes a minute to get going, but once it does, it's pretty cool to watch. Next is this classic paper airplanes book. It comes with fun paper and has great instructions to make a variety of planes. Each plane flies differently and this variety can keep you entertained for hours. Next up is an arc lighter. These rechargeable lighters produce a beautiful arc and can be used like normal. You can get ones like this that look even cooler, but they're definitely harder to work with. Next, this is a Toroflux interactive spring. Placing an object through this device and it will roll with gravity. This works with your arms and is quite mesmerizing to play with. Next, this device is called a spill knot. You can place a nearly full drink on it and swing it upside down without the contents spilling. I obviously don't recommend this with glassware, but I wanted to better show you how the centripetal force keeps the water in the glass. Outside of just a demo though, it's useful for anyone who has trouble transporting hot beverages like the elderly. Next, this is a Galileo thermometer and a globe barometer. The glass bulbs inside the thermometer are designed to float or sink based on the temperature in the room. 
That means you can read the temperature by looking at the lowest bulb that's still floating. The globe barometer helps predict when storms are coming because bad weather typically comes with low air pressure, which causes the water column to rise. You've probably heard of the bomb cyclone that's about to hit the west coast, and this is what it currently looks like. Next, this is a home planetarium that projects a roughly 6 foot diameter view of the galaxy onto your ceiling. It has a rotating feature and a shooting stars mode where streaks appear periodically. It comes with a separate disc for constellations and you can optionally get more discs with different projections. There's also cheaper ones that still look pretty cool but the image quality isn't as good. Next this is a Crooks radiometer. These flaps are nothing special, just dark on one side and reflective on the other, but remarkably it will spin on the nearly frictionless needle when exposed to radiant energy like sunlight. When I used this strong halogen bulb that gets quite hot, it rotated incredibly fast. Next is this toucan reflective mug, which is similar to the moving horse mug shown before. The image isn't on the mug, but rather reflected from the wavy ridges on the saucer, and there's different ones to choose from. Next up is this glow-in-the-dark spinning top. It comes with a blue light laser pointer, which can charge glow-in-the-dark surfaces almost instantly. While the top is spinning, you can make different shapes and patterns, kind of like spin art. To make another, simply wait for it to fade and you've got a new canvas. Next is this solar system crystal ball display. If you get one with the light up base, you can change the colors as you like, and also instead of a solar system, there's ones for the Milky Way galaxy. Next is for Star Wars lovers, and it's simply this pair of collectible holographic vinyls. On the back of both of these, it sort of looks like scratches near the center, but when spun and there's adequate lighting above it, the holographic images suddenly appear. Next, this is the Chameleon UV Frisbee. At first, it just seems like a regular Frisbee, which sure is cool on its own, but when brought out into the sun, this Frisbee turns purple. Using a black light or UV flashlight, you can see this effect more clearly. Next up, this is a wind-powered mini strand base model. It comes as a kit, so it's a fun activity that takes about an hour to assemble, and then place it in front of a fan or out in the wind, and watch it crawl in a somewhat creepy way. Next, this paper ball is a Japanese toy that exhibits interesting behavior. It just has a small hole without any special valves or anything, but repeatedly whacking it will cause the ball to self-inflate. Next is this magnetic linear accelerator. As you can see here, there's several stages separated by magnets. Place two of the steel balls in each chamber and position them like this. Now all you need to do is insert an additional ball at the base and the top ball will be launched. To reload, simply place the balls back in their original places and it comes with some wood blocks for target practice. Next is a collection of density cubes of various different elements. These are the small ones, but there's also larger 1 inch collections, or you can just get individual ones of the coolest elements like this incredibly dense tungsten. Next up is this Pythagoras Greedy Cup. As the name implies, you can give this cup to test your friends. If they only take a small amount, they're fine and nothing happens. However, if they take too much, then it starts to drain out the bottom and won't stop until the entire drink is gone thanks to a hidden siphon in the center of the cup. Next up is this fire syringe. It's just a simple piston cylinder, but when you put small pieces of cotton inside and slam your hand down, the increased pressure raises the temperature enough for the cotton to burst into flames. Next up, this is a double rainbow maker. Stick it to a window, and then whenever the sun shines on it, a small solar panel powers the rotation of these two crystals, which refracts the sunlight to produce these rainbow patches all the way across the room. Next up, this is a vortex coin bank. Similar to the larger ones you might have seen at science museums, coins that are added will spiral in, and it's quite mesmerizing to watch, especially when you put multiple coins in rapidly. Next is this phi top. When spun very fast with both hands, this top appears to defy physics by transitioning to spinning vertically. And here's what it looks like in slow motion. Next, this is a top that spins horizontally and levitates above the base because of magnets. It takes a bit of a steady hand, but because of the minimal drag, once you get it, the top will spin for up to three minutes. Next, this is a double pendulum chaotic spinner. Even slight movements of your hands create chaotic movement. You can spin it slow to observe it more closely, or spin it fast and watch it cycle through outlines of different shapes. Next is this solar print paper. The paper is coated with a dye that becomes insoluble when it reacts with sunlight, so after waiting about 15 minutes, only the dye on parts of the paper that were shaded can still be dissolved. It's common to do plant leaves, but it's fun to see what works and doesn't work well with random objects. As always, you can find links to these and more in the description and on my website coolsciencefinds.com. You could also check out last year's video to see 24 more. If you're interested in the latest gifts I find, you can also subscribe to my simple monthly newsletter that features the best 4 or 5 gifts I find each month. If you're looking for gifts that are more educational, I'll be releasing a video shortly comparing various STEM build boxes and science kits. I'd also love your feedback in the comments on which gifts you thought were the best to help guide what I look for. 
To cap off this video, I wanted to go over three gifts I thought were going to be cool, but when I got them, they weren't worthy of making the list. First up, this is the worst one I've ever purchased. It's marketed as a Focaz pendulum, and it's based on an actual one, which you might have seen in a museum, and is legitimately cool. It's a long and heavy pendulum that swings over a long period of time, showing Earth's rotation, and is a cool way to tell time. But unless I'm missing something, this device doesn't demonstrate that at all. When dropped, it just draws a pattern in the sand and comes to rest within a minute or so. I really don't get how they're claiming it's based on Earth's rotation, and unless I'm missing something, it's definitely misleading. This is a LEGO Tensegrity structure. The idea for this is cool, and it's based on other tensegrity structures that appear to defy physics by only being held up by tension and strings. But the quality on this was lacking in my opinion. It's not an official LEGO product, so I guess I shouldn't have been surprised, but the blocks didn't stick together that well, and even when they did, it's not sturdy at all and leans despite my best efforts to adjust it. Maybe it was skill diff on the build or I got a bad one because other people seem to have a better experience, but I was underwhelmed. Last up, this is a Hypno Gizmo. Spinning this kinetic toy slowly causes the beads to fall along strings, and I'll admit it's pretty cool to look at, but my main complaint was that it came as a pretty bad kit. Normally I'm fine with kits, but this one was a headache to assemble, and to make matters worse, I misinterpreted one small instruction and had to undo and redo the entire thing. Thanks for watching to the end, and I'll see you next time.